how to construct a filtration chamber for biodigesters is what this video is about. I'm going to show you how you are not going to get into trouble when you put your toilet wastewater into a drainage system. That's a gutter which is nearest or closest to your property in this particular video. When I did a video about maintenance of a biodigester and how to go about it, I said that in that video particularly, the toilet waste water has been connected into drainage outside the premises for this particular biodigester. So what we did was to pipe the water straight into the gutter. The reason why we had to do the maintenance was basically because then there was raw sewage that was going through the drainage system in the gutter and it wasn't pleasant in the area. If it comes from the side, make sure it comes all the way to the model here. Either from here, or from here, or from here. Always make sure it's centered around the model. Then the human waste can spread evenly. This goes also to show that those who do it and they put the basket inside, that's why it does not last. That's the reason, one of the reasons why we don't put baskets in the digesters. We prefer them for the human waste to spread evenly across all the levels. So this one was washed. Inside has been clean and all the bedding material has been removed. We are going to relay it with a new one. And we are going to do some works at the outlet as well. I'm going to show you to you right now. So this is the outlet. So what we are going to do is to do filtration here. We have terminated the pipe, the outlet pipe and we are going to do some dog work inside and then we will add some chippings and do some filtration with charcoal if you want to talk about charcoal in biodigesters ideally they should be in a filtration chamber it shouldn't be part of the digester itself so that the wastewater that's coming out you know, can be cleaned before it goes into a drainage system or into a gutter depending on where you are going to put your wastewater in this particular situation we do have the waste line, which is the leche pipe, going all the way into the gutter. So what we are going to do is to do a filtration chamber, just to filter the water and give it a better option in terms of the cleaning, and then remove any scents or smell that might possibly go into the gutter. You know, most of our gutters are equally open drainage, open gutters, so this one works best in this situation. So just terminate the pipe, at a particular point leading to the gutter and then do some block work. It can be four inches solid, it can be hollow blocks, it can be bricks, it can be five inches, or you call it six inches block, there's no problem. Just to make sure that you, you dig it rectangular shape, just to match the pipe. Remember, your pipe can also be four inches, it can be six inches, it doesn't matter. The bigger the pipe, it means that the bigger the chamber you will need to construct in this particular instance. So this one is only a three inches pipe that was going into the drainage and it was done for a biodigester, a standard family size biodigester. We are laying the block, creating that chamber nicely in the in the chamber we are we are we are doing some mortar work. We want it to last forever. We want it to last for a long time. That's why we are doing like that. In some cases you can just dig and put some the materials or the charcoal and the things that you need there and then you let it go. But we want to have it use for a longer time without necessarily coming back to it. When it came to the servicing, we were doing the servicing, we realized that it wasn't really the toilet that was the problem because the biodegradable materials were still working perfectly and that the problem was the wastewater, a house raw sewage was passing through the pipe going into the gutter outside. So that's what we are doing. Make sure that the chamber has got a gradient in it, it's got a slope, that is going to let the water out of the first part and then the filtration will happen in that chamber there before it continues to the gutter. In some cases, you can do two or three chambers or filtration chambers depending on how clean you want the water to be. If it's only going into the drainage system and there's a running water and it's taking it away, you will not have a problem just doing one chamber. But if it's a stagnant water, sometimes you'll be forced to do two or three chambers. But we are showing you how to go about it in this particular case by doing this chamber. The construction of biodigesters demand that you do have a, a means of treating or managing the wastewater. 
that's where this chambers do come in sometimes. This same chamber can be done for the leche pipe leading to the to the soakaway as well. Because probably you want to use the soakaway waste water for any other purpose, like watering the garden or watering the plants in your backyard or using the water just for gardening purposes. Such a chamber can also be done in that situation. So the motor work being done is key with the level that you need, especially for the gradient that will be going to join the other pipe going all the way into the drainage system. You are going to put in the filtration material in it. You are high, you will have to get some charcoal in Ghana, five cities, charcoal, bag of charcoal, just to lay them into the chamber. The idea is that you do not want the water that is going out to smell. And charcoal does that job perfectly. Remember um, when we were growing up, in our houses, either in the villages, our parents, whenever they do soup, and we are going to leave it on the on the stove. I mean, without having to put them in the fridge, in the fridge, or without having to freeze it. Remember, they were putting charcoal in the in the soup. In the same mindset, anything that you want to be clean, charcoal works well. And the chippings come on top because then you don't want the charcoal to rise and block the pipes or and block the water from passing through the pipe. So you want it to be such a way that. The chippings will come on top of the charcoal and then there will be a way for the water just to go to where it's supposed to go. Make sure you do not block the leche pipe with, with unnecessary stuffs. But the key part is you want the water to seep slowly out of the chamber into the gutter or into the soakaway or wherever it is going. It is key to just do it like this to remove any scent and then get a, a cleaner waste water. Remember there's filtration porous in the digester, which is cleaning, and then there's filtration material in the digester, which is doing the cleaning. We are also doing filtration here. So it's just called enhanced filtration or enhance, enhancing the wastewater treatment that you're having done. So you put the, in our case, we're just modifying the whole system because um, ideally well, you need to get a slab done. But let's say you go to the site and on the go, you are, for, you, are, you are doing this construction and you are realizing the situation. You can use block just to do it and fold the sides and use mortar just to hold it firmly. And then you can get back with the top saw on it. Or if you have a black rubber, you can only put a black rubber on it just to make sure that no sand passes through the holes that will be left. And then you can have it filled up. Dreamhouse Biodigesters. This is a channel dedicated to the construction of biodigesters and for homeowners who are interested in how biodigesters work. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and leave a comment below. The next video that's showing up is going to show you how to construct a biodigester and construct a wall for your dream house.